Today's feature is the ability to create section planes. So this is an IFC model which has been imported into Blender. In the Output Properties tab, there is now a new panel called Section Planes. And if you press the Add Section Plane button, this will create a new empty object at the 3D cursor location. This resembles the cut of your new section plane, and this direction of the arrow points at the normal vector of where the section is cutting. The cut happens in an infinite direction. You don't currently see the cut because we're in the solid view, but if we change it to a material preview or a rendered mode, you can see the cut, like so. You'll see that the cutting is practically instantaneous and live as you move it up and down the model. You can create as many section planes as you want by pressing the button again, and in this case, we're going to rotate it along this axis and move it along to cut the model in two axes. We can create a third, again, by rotating it, this time along another axis, and moving it along to cut the object in three axes. The section cut rotation is arbitrary, so you can cut it in any direction which you wish, as you can see. If you want to remove a section, just click on the section object, click the Remove Section Plane button, and it will go. It's also possible to only section some objects while leaving other objects non-sectioned. So if I go into the Scene Properties and I select some objects, for example, Walls, Wall Standard Cases, Curtain Walls, because they make up the facade, as well as Slabs, then if I go back into the output properties and I check this box and I press add section plane again, you'll see that the section is only applied to the object which I've selected. Now the way this works is by creating a material shader override. And you can see this because when I select an object, the full outline of the shape is already there. And this means that you can create renders from the section view or use it in documentation. If you're interested in seeing how it actually works, you can click any particular object and you can check its shader editor here. And you'll see that a new node has been added here called a section override. And you can see how that works. Once the section object has been removed, then the node disappears.